In this lesson, I want to talk to you about the emails and messages. These are the emails and messages that are sent out to new subscribers whenever they're, you know, they sign up here. So what you want to do is you want to go through these here and you want to customize and change some of the lingo here because these are just the default that came with the installation of this particular extension. But as you can see here, for example, this is the um, the admin email subject and it has this you know placeholder here of the tag that you can use and once again whenever you see tags like this used it's not going to show up uh, on the person's email like that it's going to say whatever title uh, that particular plan is so these are all emails that the system generates and whenever someone subscribed to a plan or based on the action that they take uh, the email is being sent out to them. So once their subscription is approved, then this is the email that they're going to get. So you want to change that where it says company name. You want to put your name there and you just want to go through this just to thank, thank you message uh, for subscription. This is the uh, cancellation message and all the different messages are here. So whenever someone renews something, this is what they get. So you can go through this and just change some of the, the, the lingo for it so that it matches your particular uh, company because this is just, once again, just default. Some of this you can keep some, but then some of them you want to be able to, to change. And when you look on the right section here, you can use this this tags. And the tags are very important because instead of you having to, let's say, where it says first name, last name, Instead of you having to manually email each person and putting their first and last name in the email, this tag is automatically going to do that for you. So where it says dear administrator user has the first name, last name is going to have the person's actual first and last name. And this is going to say has just upgraded his subscription from and it's going to put the, the title, the plan that they upgraded, you know, from this plan to this plan. So this is what you know the tags are there for. And if you look on the available tag section in this corner here, you have state, zip, country. So whenever you plug in a tag in here, that's the information that is going to show. So you go through these and if you, whatever you want to keep from the default settings here, and then you can keep that and whatever you want to change, you know, you can change some of that. But it's always good to go there just to, you know, change, for example, like this one that I mentioned before that has the company's name. You don't want people to subscribe to something and then it says regards company name. So that's a little bit weird. All right. So just go through these and make the changes that you want. Next, we're going to take a look at the translation.